Welcome back, everybody. Today is a big day. We're testing all the electrical components inside the trailer. Stick around. Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. It's Chad from The Right Line and before we get started I have to tell you that I, I told you a little bit of a fib on my last video. I told you that this next video that I was going to film was going to be out camping someplace. And instead what we're going to do is electrical testing day. We got everything all hooked up. We got all the wires squared away. We got wire loom on everything. Woo, hello. Everything looks good. Everything's tied down and now we're going to test it. All right, so this morning I charged my Renogy 100 milliamp lithium iron phosphate battery. I had to get that straight. I got that charged. I had to buy a special charger for a lithium ion battery because apparently I have to have those. Battery's all charged up at 13.2 volts, and so we are all ready to go. Let me kind of give you the rundown of what is inside the tongue box here. Again, we have the 100 milliamp Renogy battery. I have a 90 amp resettable circuit breaker for the Renogy 2000 watt pure sign inverter right there. We have a 15 amp resettable circuit breaker for the refrigerator, that's in the back. We have a 30 amp resettable circuit breaker for the charge controller and the whole solar system. We have an 80 amp resettable circuit breaker for all of the accessory lighting and all the accessory electronics. They're all wired, fused, and grounded in this fuse box here. Now, just to give you an idea of, uh, of grounds, the fuse box, is grounded to the chassis right back here on this bolt. The fuse box here is grounded on, on the ground over here to the battery right there. The battery is grounded to the chassis right down below. Plus we got a ground stud right there. We got a ground stud right there. We got a ground stud there. From right to left we're gonna check these circuits make sure everything is working starting with the uh, 2000 watt power inverter. Okay, let's turn that on. Oh, and by the way, I do have a load on the power inverter already, just in case. And I have a 110 volt outlet here. And then we've got one in the back of the trailer that we're gonna try out. Okay, I actually wired up the uh, remote switch. You may not be able to see this with the lightning to get close here. Okay, oh, I heard it beep. Power inverter's on. Light's working, awesome. Fantastic. Let's go check the back outlet right here and plug it in something electrical to check here. Fantastic. Refrigerator we're going to check later. Solar, I'm going to turn this on and I kind of played around with this for a few minutes earlier. I have on the Wanderer charge controller here. I have the battery connected to this charge controller, but I don't have the solar panel connected to the charge controller yet. I'm going to test that probably tomorrow. I'm not going to futz with that today, but I am going to turn it on and it's kind of explain things to you. All right, so it is set for blue, which means lithium ion battery. So this is ready to go to charge the Renogy 100 watt um, battery. Now, I did install the Bluetooth module, but I was having some trouble with getting it connected to the phone. It finally did connect, but it really wouldn't show much information because I didn't have the solar panel connected. So I'll get some more information on that at some point once I get uh, the solar panel connected. Okay, next on the list is all the accessory stuff. Now these are all the lights and everything else that I've wired on the trailer that are wired through that fuse panel here. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, now we do have lights inside the trailer tongue box. We got lights inside the main compartment in the front and in the back right there. Ooh, come on up. Right up there. Here's the switch panel that controls it. That's live. I just flipped that circuit breaker, so now we're good to go. These lights are for the inside and the tongue box, and I don't remember which switch is for which, so we're going to find out. Okay, this one's for the inside of the main compartment. Fantastic. Let's do the other one here, tongue box. What's that say there? What did my son label that? Main cabin lights and forward cabin lights. Oh, I love it. All right, there's one. Looks like it's working just fine. 
Looks like that one's working just fine. Okay, success. Now that we're working back here, let's go check out the back. All right, here's the main switch panel. This is where everything's gonna happen back here. I dis This does have a volt meter back here so I can kind of see what's going on with the, um, with the battery and all. I've got four switches back here. Two of these are functional. These are two open switches because I don't have accessories back here for that. This is for the inside light and these are for the lights underneath. Let's go ahead and give those a shot. Fantastic. Fantastic, I love it. Freaking working. The next set of lights I'm kind of happy about. And the only reason why I put them on there was because my friend Jim has a bean camper and he's got lights underneath his. So Jim, check this out. Boom, Jim, how do you like them apples, huh? Red, green, blue, white, orange, yellow. See why, I don't know what that means. Really kind of excited about that. That's gonna be cool around camp. So I've got a USB uh, port back here to charge whatever, and it's live. So I'm really excited about that, being able to charge stuff. Got the refrigerator actually plugged in. And truth be told, the refrigerator's actually been out here running for about the last half hour. It started at 78, it's at 46 now. And it seems to be working out just fine. Just to finish up on the electrics here, this is what I have on the side of the tongue box. I've got a voltmeter, another USB that's live, two, two of them in there that are uh, two amps each, the 110. And then also I installed these louvered vents and I've got four of them on here. I think I showed them to you in the last video, but it's very clear in the instructions for everything for like the battery and the charge controller that these things have to be vented. So they're all vented. Okay, so everything is working, everything is running. There's no smoke, there's no flames. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. And with that, I am going to declare this trailer done. Now, five minutes from now, I, I'm gonna say that it's not done and there's something else I need to do because there's something I forgot. Ooh, man, I started this project in August. It's fantastic, it, it's turned out great. Oh, and I'm also gonna tell you how heavy it was. In my last video, I said I'd mention that. So I took it to a friend's shop and I weighed it and dry without the refrigerator battery, it was 1,250 pounds. I did have the tent on and I did have the awning on. It doesn't matter because it tows great behind the Jeep and uh, it's exactly what I wanted this to turn out to be. Oh, okay, refrigerator's a temp. Fantastic. So this, all the circuits are working in the trailer. Super excited about that, I don't wanna jinx myself and say anything that I shouldn't. I've been pretty lucky with wiring in the past and I really, really took my time with this to make sure everything was done right and fused and circuit breakered and uh, laid out all the wires real nice and wire loomed everything. Okay, so now the next video will be with Joe and I out camping in this thing and that'll be the final video of this build series. Uh, the electrical was a big, big step today, making sure that all of that was working as it should and to make sure that uh, we didn't have any flames and we didn't have any smoke. <laughs> if you like what you see in this video, uh, go back and check out all the other videos. There's, this one's gonna be video 12, I think it is, in the series. If you've been following along from the beginning, thanks for sticking around. If you've subscribed to the channel, awesome. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Make sure you hit a the like button down below, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, please come back again for the 13th video, and we're gonna have some off-road videos coming up soon. I'm not sure exactly what we're running, but now that this is kinda pretty much done, I gotta get out, I gotta get some dirt therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you again next time.